Welcome everybody to your personal yoga practice here at the Hayfield Family Collection. My name is Jeannie and I'm delighted to be guiding you today. Everything I offer you is just that, an offering. So go at your own time, your own pace, and you're welcome to modify and adjust any movements as you please. I'm really looking forward to guiding you. Enjoy. So let's begin. We'll start seated and you're very welcome to sit like I am. Perhaps this is comfortable for you. For others, not so much. You might like to sit with the legs crossed, maybe the feet out in front of you. You might like to lean your back against the bed or a wall, or let's use what we have in the room. You might like to take a pillow um, or a cushion from your bed. You can make it as high or as low as you'd like, and just bring it underneath the pelvis. Lift the hips up and sit down. And especially if you feel like your back is rolling backwards when you sit this is a nice one to allow the spine be tall so we'll turn our palms to face upwards or you're welcome to keep them down if you feel like you've had quite a busy day and you need a bit more grounding we'll softly close down the eyes or you're welcome to keep your gaze down and your eyes open if you'd prefer not to close the eyes right now and I'll just invite you to bring your focus to your breath there's no congestion in the nose, we'll take a long, deep, smooth inhale and an exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Inhale and exhale. Continue with this long, smooth breath now. And I'll invite you just to loosen out the jaw. Maybe let the lower jaw softly lower down. You might even like to open the mouth, stretch the tongue, and just release any tension you might be holding in the jaw. Often we're not aware of it. We'll allow the lips to softly close back together and just Come back to that smooth, soft inhale and exhale. And a gentle reminder now, there is nothing expected of you for the rest of the practice. There's no to-do lists, no goals, no targets. There's no emails or phone calls or anyone looking to you for something. This is your time just to be present with your body, your breath, and just allow yourself to rest, relax, and surrender any holding. And I'll give you lots of reminders to come back to this steady, smooth breath. I'll just prepare the body now to move a little. So you might like to slowly bring the chin towards the chest, let the back of the neck lengthen. You might like to softly blink open the eyes. And then we'll inhale, lift the chin, lengthen through the front of the throat. Just be mindful not to collapse into the back of the neck. We'll do that a few more times. Exhale, chin down, lengthen the back of the neck. And inhale, chin up, lengthen the throat. Few more times now just bringing some gentle movement to the neck it supports our heavy head all day lovely and the next time the chin comes down just slowly start to roll the chin from shoulder to shoulder easing out the muscles at the side of the neck and maybe there's a point somewhere along the way that feels really nice you can stay there and take a few deep breaths if you wish or you might like to keep rolling and moving dynamically do two more here and with every exhale you're surrendering letting go and the next time the chin comes to the center slowly lift the head We'll uncross the legs if they're crossed and we'll move to come onto our hands and knees. So you're welcome to take anything that was underneath the hips out to the side. 
or perhaps you'd like a little bit more support underneath the knees, especially if there's any injuries or sensitivity. So you might like to take that cushion and take the knees on top. We'll spread our palms down and just move the hands and knees here to find a nice, stable, strong balance for you. Toes are pointed, or if that's too much for the front of the feet, you're welcome to tuck the toes under. We'll take an inhale, let the belly rest towards the floor, let the chin and chest lift, and we'll slide the shoulder blades down the back as you lengthen through the front of the body. On an exhale, we'll draw our navel, our belly button in as we round through the back, let the head go, and we're pushing into the hands to round the upper back. Inhale, belly to the floor, lift the chest, lift the chin, and exhale, rounding, drawing the navel in. See if you can release the buttocks muscles here. Inhale, belly as you lift, and exhale, draw the navel in. Marjanasana, cat pose, let the head go. A few more now, just warming up the spine, bringing nourishment and blood flow to each of the discs between the bony bits of the spine. We're hydrating them and keeping them buoyant and ready to do their job to keep us protected throughout the day. Two more now as we flow with the breath. Inhale, belly down, chin lift. Exhale, belly in, chin tucks in. And we'll slowly come back to neutral spine. And we'll just start to sway our hips from side to side, bringing a bit more movement to the pelvis now. And you might like to do small little movements here, or they might be quite large. Maybe you'd prefer to do circles as you start to open up all the joints in the body Keep connected to your breath now, and you're very welcome to include the head in this. You might like to do a figure of eight. And this is your yoga practice. I'm here to guide you, but you decide now what, what, what wants to move, where in the body wants to stretch. So just move as you please. There's no shapes you have to make. We're just using this as a template to stretch and move. You might like to lift an arm, to reach back a leg. Just take some time now to do some free movement and stretch the way your body feels it needs it. We'll keep that long, smooth inhale and exhale. And when you feel like you've done a nice warm up here to the torso, we'll untuck the toes. If they were tucked, sit the hips back and let the body come down into balasan child's pose. So maybe the hands would stack to support the head, or maybe for you, the head comfortably reaches the floor. Take a few deep breaths in here. Breathing into the belly, into the lower back. Feel the hips be heavy, let the head relax. And you're very welcome to stay here, especially if you feel you've had a long day and the body is fatigued. Or you might like to join me by coming back up onto hands and knees. Tuck the toes under, sit the hips back and really press into the floor with the hands. And then lift the hips up for Parvatasan Mountain Pose. Knees can be bent, heels can be lifted and you're lengthening the torso back towards the legs palms are spread. Again here you're very welcome to move and stretch if you'd like or just to stay here lengthening and softening and strengthening. Keep breathing now and notice what it's like to breathe upside down. Feel the lungs expand, feel the effort leave the body. We'll take two more breaths. One more big inhale, exhale, and then look forwards and we'll walk with bent knees towards the top of your mat. You can take any props out to the side and we'll let the head and arms hang down. Maybe the hands will just be resting here on the knees. Maybe you can touch the shins or maybe you're able to fully surrender and let the head hang down. 
We'll take a few deep breaths here, just playing around with the weight where it's positioned. Maybe you'd like to lean towards the toes or the heels, keeping a soft bend in the knees and keeping that head hanging down. We're decompressing the spine now. We're letting lots of tension go. We're creating space in the body, space for our lungs to breathe. Inhale and exhale. We'll take one more deep breath in. And then we'll really generously bend the knees. Give your blood pressure a chance to stabilize. Take the hands onto the knees and slowly lift yourself all the way up. Take your time, roll the shoulders back and we'll take our feet underneath our hips. Eyes can be closed if you're not dizzy and just surrender here. Let the effort go, let the breath be smooth. Come to do some balance work really good to bring some blood flow to the feet and to allow us to build some focus and concentration really really good for clarity so we'll slowly bring one knee up towards the ceiling maybe the toes will stay on the ground or maybe you can lift the knee right up so the foot comes off the floor and exhale we'll lower it back down we'll do the same on the other side so inhale raising the leg and exhale lowering down you might like to add the arms in, inhale, lift, exhale, flow back down, inhale, lift. We're connecting breath with movement now, allowing you to focus the mind, exhale down. Maybe you'd like to lift the hands up a little higher, exhale, release, beautiful. Keep moving, keep breathing. If you find your balance isn't very good today, that's normal also often not easy on a carpet some days we can balance very well and other days not so much that's okay but a few things will help pick a point where you'll keep your gaze steady a drishti we call it in yoga so maybe a point on the carpet or the wall in front of you and when your gaze is in one direction only really helps to keep our balance strong and stable lovely keep flowing keep breathing and match the movements to your breath. So if your breath is longer, let the movement be slower. Inhale and exhale, gorgeous. A few more now. Feeling that heat rise in the body, warming us up, preparing us for the rest of the movements we'll do. Don't worry, there is a rest coming. We'll do two more. Exhale down, inhale up and exhale down. Lovely. If you're not dizzy, take a broad stance with the feet, eyes closed, and just take a few deep breaths here. Allow that movement, that effort to settle. And just notice how you feel. Feel the heart rate beating in the chest. Feel that fresh, oxygen-rich blood circulate through the body from our deep breathing and our movement. And when you're ready, you can softly open the eyes. We'll do a bit more active movement now just to really get that blood flowing in the body warm. We'll take an inhale and bring the palms to face the floor. We'll draw the shoulder blades back, take a deep breath in, and exhale, we'll sit the hips back as if you're sitting on a chair. Notice if the knees have dipped forwards, if you can take the hip bones back and the toes may lift, but press them back down into the floor. This is quite a strong posture um, in the upper body. So if you'd prefer to keep your hands by your side, you're very welcome. Or maybe you're used to this posture, you've done it quite a bit and you might like a bit more of a challenge, the hands can come up by the ears. This is Utkatasana chair pose. We'll take a few deep breaths in here. The height is up to you. Do you want more of a challenge? Do you want more of a rest? You decide your yoga practice. We'll take two more deep breaths in. Exhale, release. See if you can release any tension in the body. Inhale. Exhale, slowly come up to standing. Take a few deep breaths here. We're gonna do this again a bit more dynamically this time. 
So we'll take our thumb to the baby finger and wrap our fingers over it. Take the elbows in and this is our inhale. And on our exhale, we'll sit back into the posture we just did. It's a sharp inhale, exhale through the nose. Really good to cleanse the lungs. So if you um, have been breathing in lots of city air or if you just feel like you really need a detox, this is fantastic. We'll take a deep breath in together and we'll begin. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You can go at my pace or if you need to slow it down or speed it up, you can. Inhale, exhale. Relax the jaw if you can. We're building lots of heat or pran, we call it in yoga, life force energy to move things around the body to help get rid of anything we're holding on to that isn't serving us. Keep going now. I know it's tough. We can do it. Feel the heat build. Get used to the heat. It's moving things through the body. We'll do five, four, three, two, and one. We'll inhale, hold the breath in and exhale, release. Well done. If you're not dizzy, close the eyes, let the effort go and just feel that heat circulate throughout the body and breathe. Exhale, release. See if you can lengthen the exhale breath. Inhale. Two more now. Notice where the mind goes when the body is still. Lovely. You can softly open your eyes. We'll use this heat now to bring a bit more length and space to the body. We'll come back down onto the hands and knees. Again, if you need that cushion underneath the knees or a blanket, you're very welcome. We'll step the right foot forwards. Maybe the hands will give it a little help. And you can stay here with the knee and ankle in line, or you might like to take that back knee back a little further to come into a deeper lunge at this back leg. And hands can stay on the floor. Maybe you're happy to take them up onto the knee, or you might like to lift them up and over the head if you'd like a bit more of a challenge. We'll draw our right hip back and our left hip forwards. And you might notice this starts to strengthen as well as lengthen the muscles in the legs. So keep breathing here. Maybe exhale, softening in. We don't want to sink down. We're still active in this leg, so push the right foot into the floor. And if the hands are above the head, we're building stamina now, keeping our heart having to pump up against gravity. Really good for our cardiovascular health. Lovely. If you've been sitting all day, this is a beautiful posture to lengthen out all those muscles in the body that get quite tight when we sit. We'll take two more deep breaths in here. If you're familiar with this posture and you'd like a bit more of a challenge, you can look up or even join the hands. Notice how this affects your balance. You'll have to use a lot more strength and stability here. One more deep breath in. And exhale, we'll just bring the arms down. We'll keep our right hand down and inhale, raise the left arm and we'll slowly take the body over to the side. So we're lengthening all the way down the left side of the body. And you might find this gets really deep into the front of that left hip. We're getting into the psoas muscle now, known as the muscle of the soul in yoga. Really good if you've had any emotional trauma recently, really good to allow this to soften and open up. Keep breathing now. We'll breathe into the left side ribs. Feel them expand. Maybe you'll go a little further. If at any stage this top arm gets really heavy and uncomfortable, take it to your lower back. Keep breathing. One more breath. Exhale, slowly come all the way back up to center. We'll push into that right foot and take the body back. If it's comfortable to kneel, just kneeling here, eyes closed and notice how the body feels from side to side. Breathe. If you're dizzy, eyes can stay open. Lovely. One more breath. It's these pauses and stillnesses in between where we really take on and integrate the benefits of these postures. So we'll do the same on the other side now. We'll step the left foot forwards this time. We'll press down into the left foot. Hands can stay here 
or maybe to the knee or again up and over the head. You decide on the length of the lunge that suits your body this, today. We'll press down into that left foot, as I said, draw the left hip back and the right hip forwards just to keep a strong, stable base to what we're doing. Breathe. Again, option to lift the front ribs up, join the palms and look up. You're still getting full benefit of the posture if the hands are in another position. You decide. Breathe. Feel the length in the front of the right thigh this time. Two more deep breaths in here. Last one, let's make it nice, smooth, long. And exhale, slowly bring the arms down. Well done. We'll keep the left arm down this time. Inhale, raise the right arm and slowly take the body over to the left. So we're lengthening all the way along the right side of the body now. Shoulders away from the ears. You might even like to look up. Breathing into the right side ribs. Feel them expand. Lift and lengthen. Gorgeous. Two more deep breaths in here. Last one, the longest, smoothest breath. and exhale slowly coming back up lovely hands can support you as you take that left leg back into a kneeling position and then just eyes closed notice how the body feels let that breath let the energy flow integrate lovely. we'll come back down onto hands and knees i'll turn this way to demonstrate for now and we'll step our right foot out to the side. We'll really firmly press into our left hand and our left knee and foot, and we'll inhale, raise the right arm up towards the ceiling. So you can stay here. For some people, this is a lot of strain on the shoulders. You're welcome to take it to your lower back, or if you're familiar or, done, or if you've done a lot of twisting before, you might like to take that arm right the way back behind you. Keep breathing now wherever is comfortable for you. We're opening up all the way across the chest. Great if you've been sitting or playing lots of sports or weights. Really good to open up across the front of the chest. And maybe you'd like to move dynamically here now with a big wide circle. Maybe you'd like to stay and soften. You decide. Bringing lots of blood flow in either position to our lymphatic system. Really good to help release toxins, to give our body a deeper rest when it's not having to fight and to eliminate all these things from our body, it can rest more. If you're circling, we'll reverse the direction of the hand. Lovely. And we're bringing a beautiful twist to our spine, keeping our discs hydrated, keeping them supple, and all the muscles that support the back strong and supple lovely one more big circle if you're circling the arms and allow the arm come back down to the earth beautiful take the knee back in and we'll take a moment in the center here eyes can be closed and just become aware of how the body feels from side to side and if there's any difference and we'll do the same on the other side now so press the right hand into the floor step the left foot out press the right foot and knee into the floor and inhale we'll raise that left arm up Lovely. again it can come to the lower back or go wide and it could be different on this side so use each posture like a self-exploration if this right shoulder is sinking in towards the ear really push down into the hand and for some people coming up onto the fists might be a lot more comfortable there's always options again you can stay static here or bring lots of movement to that arm to that shoulder stretching all the muscles along the side back and front of the torso keep moving with your breath now smooth long inhales and exhales lovely we'll reverse direction with the arm maybe even follow with the hat with the head again if you're not dizzy breathe one more big circle here 
and slowly bringing the hands back down. Take a moment in the center, eyes can be closed and breathe. You'll be glad to know we're gonna to come to lie down on our backs. We're not gonna stay there too long, so don't get too excited. But you might like to use your hands to slowly let yourself lower your back down. We'll bend the knees and take the soles of the feet to the floor. Just check there's nothing underneath the head and that the back of the neck is long. We'll press our feet down into the earth and press our palms down into the floor beside our hips. Take a deep breath in, to let the chin be tucked in, and then push into the feet as we lift the hips into Ardha Setu Bandhasan Bridge Pose. And you're welcome to stay here, or if you feel like this is quite a challenge on the legs, you can slowly lower down with your exhale and lift up with your inhale. But if this is comfortable, you're welcome to stay here. Again, this might be enough, or you might like to lift the hips a little higher, interlace the fingers and tuck the elbows and arms underneath the shoulders so you're really doming up the chest. Breathe into the upper ribs. This is fantastic for your metabolism. Really good to send fresh oxygen rich blood to the face, for your skin, your hair. Really good for your brain function, for memory, clarity. And if you do a lot of sitting, this is one of the best postures you can do to counteract all of those. We're giving space to our digestive system, our lungs. Beautiful, we'll take one more deep breath in, lift a little higher, release the hands and slowly roll the spine down. Take a few moments now with the spine firm on the earth and just breathe. Inhaling and exhaling. And we'll hug the knees in now, if that feels nice. Just stretch out the lower back. Keep as much of the head and shoulders on the floor as you can. And we'll do that posture one more time. It's so beneficial. Press the feet down, press the hands down, and then lift the hips, coming into your version of the pose. This is also a gentle back bend, you might notice. So we'll squeeze the buttocks as they lift a little higher. Really good for our kidneys, our adrenal glands. So if you've had quite a stressful time recently. This is really good just to tell your adrenal glands you're looking after them. Lovely, really good to de-stress the whole nervous system. We'll take one more deep breath here and exhale slowly, lower down. Take a moment, eyes can be closed. Just let your spine be long on the earth and let the effort of holding yourself up go. Surrender. You'll be glad to know we're coming into Shavasana now, our relaxation pose. So you might like to extend the legs out as they are and just let the legs switch off. The feet might roll out to either side. Palms can face up, arms rolling away from the body. And for some people, this might not be suitable on the lower back. So stay here if it's comfortable. If not, we have a few options. So you can take that cushion you were using and you might like to take it underneath the backs of the knees. You might like to take a beautiful blanket and drape it over the body so that you have a little bit of extra warmth and comfort. Maybe now. And just allow yourself to be totally relaxed here. Let the arms roll away from the body, let the jaw soften and let the effort I'll keep an eye on the space and the time, so you just rest now and breathe. And we've been controlling our breath throughout our practice, so just allow the body to breathe for you now. There's nothing more you need to do. This is our most important posture. It's here that we integrate all the benefits of what we've just done. So allow your mind to be still and the thoughts will come and go, that's absolutely fine. Just as soon as you realize the mind is wandering off, come back to your breath to this space 
And we might like to use a mantra here. So hum. S O H A M. So hum. And as the body naturally inhales, you can repeat the word so in your head. And as the body naturally exhales, repeat the word hum. And you might even notice that the sound of the breath makes a so sound on the inhale and a hum sound on the exhale. And we'll just check there's no more holding in the body. Release the buttocks, the legs and feet. Let the pelvis sink into the earth. Let the ribs soften down. Let the shoulders relax. Relax the eyes behind the closed lids. And there's nothing more to do now. I'll call you back when it's time to move. slowly start to bring some awareness back to the body maybe moving hands and feet and keep the eyes closed take a deeper breath in maybe you'd like to bring some larger movements to the body now stretching the hands overhead pointing and flexing the feet, maybe hugging the knees in. Again, your yoga practice, you decide what your body would like right now. And we'll slowly start to bring our awareness back into the room through moving the body. And when you're ready, staying wrapped maybe in your blanket, just make your way over onto your side. You might like to use your arm as a pillow eyes can stay closed. Take a deep breath in here. And take a moment to notice how you feel now compared to the start of your practice. your own 
one time you can press that top hand into the floor maybe extend the top leg and just use those supports to bring yourself up into a comfortable seat you can keep the eyes closed and maybe you'd like that cushion again underneath the hips or you might like to lean against the bed or a wall we'll take a few moments here allow the palms to face up again and just breathe let your body adjust to being upright. And we'll soften across the forehead. Let the spine be tall, but let the shoulders drape over your tall spine. Eyes are closed or gaze is soft and down. And we'll slowly take our left hand to the center of our chest and our right hand to our belly. Take a few deep breaths into both spaces. Just allow the breath to flow easily and smoothly. And take a moment to notice how you feel to enjoy the stillness, the spaciousness. And we'll just enjoy another few more breaths here now. Notice what it's like to be still. Notice the silence. Call you back with the sound of the singing bowl. Allow the waves to travel wherever they're needed. stretch and breathe we create space in the body and so at the end of our practice we fill it with beautiful healing vibrations so slowly bring that left hand and right hand together in front of the heart We'll begin to rub our palms together, creating lots of heat in the hands. And when they're nice and warm, just place them over the closed eyes. You may even like to let the head rest down into the hands. Allow that heat to slowly wake up your closed eyes. And when you're ready, you can blink your eyes open into the darkness of your hands and lower your hands. A moment of gratitude to all of you for practicing with me today and gratitude to yourself for taking this time to move and stretch and breathe. We'll close our practice, bow our heads, namaste. <laughs>